Recently, when have you been the most worried for me and why? Well, it was, it was during the election, really. I was, I was worried about what life would be like for you if it went another way. And I wasn't worried about it because, I mean, if it went a certain way, it got to a certain point, I would just make other plans. <laughs> yeah, that was, that's what worried me, girl. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> President Trump defiant in defeat, no concession since Thursday. President-elect Biden said a smooth transition is a matter of life or death. On Friday, the U.S. reporting yet another new daily record of infections. There is new hope tonight in the battle for a coronavirus vaccine. Which headline? From around the world. Do you think hits me the most? And why? These are good questions. I think more so than the Biden-Harris like victory headlines, the ones that were like Trump is doing this, this, and this, or his campaign is doing this, this, and this to like try to continue the debate of the legitimacy of the election. Whoever becomes president, we're accepting of the fact that there's going to be good things that they do. There's going to be things that they do that we're not so such fans of. The vaccine thing, I guess we were discussing it last week when all the six of us were, vaccine. Yeah, you were pretty like happy about it, I guess. Any like videos or posts of like the rallies of the anti-maskers getting together? I get like, I, I get can't. like goosebumps, but then I also want to vomit. There's like so many things. <laughs> you and things, I yeah. both understand that there's people in this world who believe like the numbers in their latest bank statement get to dictate if they get to treat people like crap. Mm -hmm. So, you know, yeah. so I think, yeah, any headlines that would have really hit you in the angry feels um, mm -hmm. would have been anything to do with like just crazy manic behavior from human beings. How do we see the world differently? And how do you feel that affects our relationship? For the most part, we care about the same things, but we have different views on like kind of how to solve social and political issues. Um, it used to be like more different views, but like than when we started first started dating, especially like on like racial issues and stuff like that. But I mean, part of that is just I didn't understand it. To be frank, I mean, there's there's only so much you can learn through just like your friends but actually being in love with someone who's a different race gives you a diff very different perspective on things one topic that we are not on the same page is okay lgbtq i guess yeah. i guess you're not <laughs> because i, I had the same point in my mind by the way <laughs> It's just that I think you hesitate because you don't know them. Exactly, that hesitate. Well. And you I never hesitate. even, yeah, you never even talked to any I've one like talked. that or been yeah. in a crowd like that. And when we were growing up, we were like, our parents portrayed the community in a very different way. Different and manner, right. What do you think scares me the most about the world right now? I mean, what doesn't? I don't mean this like me. <laughs> <laughs> Here, you big chicken. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yes, you were yes, you were concerned about just all the sadness and the anger and the hurt that's in the world currently, and how there is no predictability or any stability in any of it. I think, yeah, that's how you feel.